Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Last time we uh, met with a Luminoth fellow named Umos, and he told us about the story of the planet Aether and how it's being split into two, uh, like dark side and a light side, and they're fighting over the planet's energy uh, and stuff. So I guess we're gonna help try to get light Aether uh, on top of that uh, little uh, planetary food chain thing going on. I'm gonna see where I need to go. Um, possibly this way. Oh no! It's one of those dealies. Oh, shoot it in the eye! And the other one! Oh wow, Ooh, look at that. Wondrous. I like when they just explode like that. <laughs> really feels like I've done something useful, you know? Unable to interact because I can't decipher. That's right. I can only read. Can only read purple things. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to go up there, but I won't be able to just yet. Uh huh. Structural analysis complete. Structural integrity of brimstone object at critical. Brimstone, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is my last hope of doing anything in this room. <laughs> oh man, E3 happened last week, you guys. Metroid Prime 4 was announced, actually, which is insane. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited for that. But, uh... They didn't really show too much about it, so it makes me think that's probably not going to come out for quite some time. But just knowing that they're actually going to make something is is really nice to know. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we're gonna go this way. Uh, and also, another really big announcement that I've been waiting for for many years, Beyond Good and Evil 2, heck yeah! Oh man. I've wanted that to come out for so long. Every E3, I'm like, come on, Ubisoft, you better not, better not disappoint. Whoa, whoa, what? Did I just go through that hole come out? Okay, hang on. Hold up, hold up. Something weird happened there. Okay, let's, let's go upstream. There we go. Just gotta go upstream. No problem. Good thing I don't need boost ball to boost ball to get up this. <laughs> okay. It's a blue root tree, highly poisonous plant form. Durable tree with venomous leaves found on several worlds in desert climate zones. A cross world plant? Does it spread its seeds across the in space? Like, shoot the seeds up into space? People just taking the plant from world to world, maybe. Security gate is locked in place. Gate is controlled by bomb slot device. Energize the bomb slot to open the gate! I don't... I don't have such a thing. And also, it's not on this side of the gate. Well, shoot! Hmm. I seem to be in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. Unless I can go behind this waterfall here. You never know, man! Roll, fool, roll! Nope, I don't seem to be able to. Okay, then. Oh, hey. Secret? No, no. Hmm. Well then. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. I may not be in the right place at all. 
interesting. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> I guess we're gonna leave the egg on waste, perhaps. Unless I can get up this. I don't think I can, though. Hmm. Would I have climbed that? Looks pretty high. But maybe. I don't think I can make this. Okay, hang on. It's gonna try really quick. Mm hmm. That's a bit too high. <laughs> okay. Okay. Noted. This is not where I want to be. Cool. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going then. <laughs> oh, please, light bugs, please. Woo. I guess we're leaving the egg on waste. Hmm, back to the temple grounds. All right. Let's see if somewhere else I want to go. There's a pretty big ledge over there. I probably won't be able to climb. There's a thing over there. Another translate door over there. Man, having access to this area would be pretty sweet. That's a that's a big area. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm going to head over here to this room, and we'll see what's over there. Hopefully, something. Man, I thought for sure I would be uh, able to do something in that. Egg on waste area. But maybe not. Okay, so I, do I have to climb all the way up here? Uh, yeah. Shoot. Give me my space jump. I'm gonna be really upset if what I had to do was actually an egg on waste and I just completely missed it. <laughs> Excuse me, bugs. I need to look for doors. Actually, I have missiles now. But I need to look for doors that can translate open or blow up. Okay, I do have to go to the right. On my way, wasps. Oh no. It's gonna sting me! Woo. Oh, I can't go this way. Uh huh. Interesting. Actually, that's not where I wanted to go anyway. Is it? Oh well, yeah, it is. Shoot. Okay. I wonder why this is still blue. That's where I came from to get to over here, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Very interesting. Oh, uh, please. Leave me alone! Woo, there's a lot of you. There's a lot. A bit too many if you ask me. Okay, I'm just gonna double check over here. I think there was only one door I could go uh, go to in this big room up here. But we shall see.
Okay, where am I? I'm like I'm in a whole other area. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can't go through either of those doors. Hmm. Yellow. Green. <laughs> well, shoot. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, well... I've been wandering around trying to find something else to do. Uh, so this over here was actually the elevator to Agon Waste, but if I take this other route over here, looks like there's another translate door, and possibly another one. I don't know if these are going to lead to anything, but yeah, something else to do. <laughs> so let's do it! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Through vigilance and strength, we create peace. I hope you create double jumps, because that would be fantastic. Oh, wow. There's a door back here. What is this? Uh-huh. Same message. Is this a shortcut? Oh, this is, yeah, this is the door back to the, the ship. I see. That ship is still uh, repairing, I suppose. Dang, if only I could get up there. That would solve so many problems. Mm hmm. Okay, then. Well, shoot. That didn't really gain me anything at all. Uh, except a nice shortcut. Which, I guess that's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool, Dad. Alright, well, man, there must be something in Agon Waste that I just completely missed. I'm gonna have to scour that place. Like, someone who's very good at cleaning scours a pan they just cooked in. Wait, 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 what? Are you serious? Wait a minute. Okay, okay, hang on. That other thing was Brimstone too. Are you telling me that Missile could have worked on it? Oh my gosh. Welp, I think we know what to do now. Sort of. Hopefully. We'll see what's over here. <laughs> Don't count your eggs before you put them in the basket. Okay, that's Brin. I shot a missile at this, did I not? But I guess I didn't shoot it at the crack side. I shot it at this side. So I just assumed Brinstone I was... Okay. Shoot. Man, I tell you what. Well, hey, progress. We're making progress now. <laughs> <laughs> Put them away, bats. Okay. Okay. Feeling good. Feel that's not good. What happened there? Uh oh. Somebody went a little crazy with the painting. Painting the rocks purple. <laughs> Uh, solar lens modified for use as part of Illuminoth sonic security system. Lens is connected to a sonic s uh, control system. Sonic detection gear needed to interface with this system. Neutralizing the control emitter may affect the lens. Okay. And this is that giant uh, thing that looked like those bugs down there. It's composed of ordinary alloys and stone. Purpose unknown, possibly placed as a warning to travelers. So this is like a statue. That's not, that's not just a gigantic bug. Of course not. That would be crazy. That would be, that would be just crazy. Okay, cool. Yay. We're moving on. We're going somewhere new. Uh, but to where? I don't know. Uh-oh. Can't do anything in there. Hello? Uh-oh. Spooky music. 
Something bad's about to happen to me. Space pirate crate. Space pirates strangely dislike theft. Their only way, uh, the only way into their crates is through the use of force. Well, says the person that blows everything up. Space pirates, huh? Not good. Uh oh. They're here! Space pirates are here! Scan them! Scan them now! Woo! Pirate trooper. Starfaring brigands. Aggressive, well armed bioform trained for combat and conquest. Sworn enemy of Samus Aran. Of the Galactic Alliance! Woo! Stop that shooting! Yo! <laughs> Silly space pirates. <laughs> Who's doing that? Hey, you. Stop. <laughs> uh, that's probably why I'm the sworn enemy, because I keep destroying them. And they keep doing crazy things, like experimenting on themselves to make themselves super powered and stuff. Are you new? Oh yeah, look at you. A brisgy venomous insectoid. Poison stinger concealed in back mounted shell. Finish it off quickly once the stinger is exposed. Woo, quickly! Yikes. What, what if you don't do it quickly? Something scary? Oh man, there's several ways to go now. Fire cannon. Okay. Boom. Boom. Uh huh. What am I doing? Hello. Ooh. There's a thing behind you. Luminoth subject terminated 1.9 decacycles ago. Target has a number of wounds caused by small explosions. Most likely delivered by a portable rocket. Or grenade system. Hmm. Poor dude. Okay, can I get that without... Yes, I can. <laughs> you just kind of mosey around when you get it. Cool. Thank you. I miss my ball hopping. Okay. Uh, where am I going right now? There was totally more in that other room. Now I'm doing something else. Mechanical analysis complete. Portal dynamo offline. Configure lens system to focus solar power on dynamo. This will energize the system. Ooh, a solar dynamo. Sounds dynamically empowering. Structural analysis complete. Industrial solar lens, part of a system used to open a portal to dark aether. Oh my gosh, why? Do we have to? Oops. Uh oh. Uh, object is composed of telluric alloy. Structural integrity has decayed considerably. What is that noise? Telluric, huh? I don't think I can do anything with that at the moment. This is a real fancy room for something that's probably going to be scary. And that's a thing I can't read. I don't think. Uh-huh. Why didn't they just teach me all the language at once? Umos? Hmm? Console used to energize and open a portal to Dark Aether, currently offline. Restore power to the system to enable portal creation. Oh, of course. I don't have that. Oh man, I went the wrong way again. 
I'm doing real good today. <laughs> but hey, at least we know what's to what to look out for when I get the chance. What is, what is this? Target is in a state of dimensional flux. Unable to completely scan bomb slot target. 50% of its component atoms are in another dimension or on the surface of Dark Aether. It's between dimensions? Uh, automated door system. Door control governed by bomb slot. Control link seems to originate from Dark Aether, however. Well, now that's just crazy. Does that mean people can be between dimensions, too? Hmm. I wonder if there's like a shady Samus clone. Exactly where I am. Oh! Alright, war wasps. I missed. There we go. <laughs> no more space pirates, please. Alright. What we got going on up here, other than the door I can't do anything with? I don't know why I keep scanning those. It's just like an OCD thing, I think. I, I don't like seeing the red. Uh-oh. Sounds like space pirate to me. This is a statue of... Deecher. Child hero of Agon. Once a lowly acolyte squire, he became a warrior when the temple was attacked. All warriors but Deecher were slain, leaving the boy as sole defender of the temple. He served Agon for nearly a centa cycle before being lost in uh, yeah, being lost in battle on Dark Aether. Interesting. Gates constructed of Luminoth design alloy. Scan data indicates that weapons of artillery grade or higher would damage anything made from this alloy. Like this? Oh. So, he was the sole protector of this of Agon Wastes, but he died in Dark Aether? Why did he leave if he was the sole one? You blew it, teacher. I like all these little glowy flower plants. Uh-oh. Shriek bats! Ew, look what, look what they look like. They're weird loopy dupes. Territorial flying rodents. Rapid flying explosive enemies. Target and eliminate enemy at range if possible. Oh look, I'm not even like triggering them to fly at me. Bam! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Take that, Shriek Bats! Oh man, this door is super fans. It's got some super fans. Ooh, man. We got some really big rooms here. Object is composed of telluric alloy, stress fractures detected, structural integrity. Give me morph ball bombs. This very moment. Probably have to go in the middle of that thing. Oh, oh, hey, it's a white door. There's a blast shield on the door blocking access. Analysis indicates that the blast shield is invulnerable to most weapons. Light energy might damage it. Light energy? Ooh. I want light energy. 
Okay, here we go. This looks like a coliseum of death, but here we go. Huh? It probably is! Oh no! Are you new? Oh yeah, you're much bigger. An alpha sand digger. Large tunneling bioform. Extremely well armored. Target exposed eyes to damage this creature. It's exactly like your little form, man. Oop. Uh oh. Hey, don't do that. He's already tough enough. Man, <laughs> look, just enough time to scan his first form. I gotta scan this much scarier looking form. Splendiferous! Whoa. Bomb Guardian. Bomb dropping Darkling. Enemy is utilizing your morph, your morph Ball Bomb unit. Although its armor is strong, its tail is exposed when moving. Its mouth can be hit when glowing. Oh boy. Eat it! Whoa. Hey, I got your little butt. Uh oh. I gotta shoot you in the mouth. Uh oh. What? You can't just spew more ball bombs. You have three at a time. That's cheating. Biggest cheater. This guy. <laughs> oh, I got your number now, Bomb Guardian. Uh oh. <laughs> Bam! Right in the mouth. Oh, these bombs everywhere. Whoa! <laughs> Let your butt shine. Oh! Oh, too slow. Oh God. Three at a time, man. Three at a time. Biggest cheater. Yeah. Yes. Woo. Intensity. That was rather intense. Oh, yes. Give me that sweet morph ball, Bob. Hang on. Medium energy. Uh huh, uh huh. Grab that, and grab that. You got the morph ball bomb back. Hey. Fantastic. Boop boop boop. And because it's a trilogy, I can just jump whenever I want. Whoop. Fantastic. Two for one special. Two for one. Oh, I can blow both of these gates. Bam. Hang on. Bam. Oh, yes. Okay, that's a new door. I can't go in that uh, light door over there. Uh, looks like there's another door that I also can't really go into. So, I guess I'm going straight. Hmm. I guess it's worth a little scanneroo, though. This is a really big area for that fight right there. <laughs> Ooh. Pulsating death door. Dark energy may damage it. I need light and dark energy. Ugh, oh, jeez. Even your doors have split personalities, Aether. Well, hello, fancy statue. This is a Lumina Temple Security Station. You've been cleared to access the station. Use the bomb slot to activate it and gain access to the Agon Energy Control Area. 
Well, okay then. Whoop. Interesting. Oh dear. Wait, is this one of the, uh... Is this one of the things I need to transfer energy from Dark Aether to Light Aether? And what is this? Luminoth Hollow Projector Online. Automated message initiated. Oh! Welcome. I am Aisha, sentinel of the Agon Temple. This message survives my death as guidance to one who would fight the Ing. A portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land's shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of this sacred place. Inside, you will find the energy controller you seek. The temple door is held fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout that dark land. Your search will be difficult. Even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous and can cripple the strongest of warriors. In our past struggles with the Ing, we placed a series of light crystals throughout their world. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that will protect you from the harmful atmosphere of the Dark World. I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coded with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. When you have taken the energy from the Dark Temple, return here at once. May the Light of Aether serve you well! Ooh, thank you. you do an awful lot for a hologram. Even taught me part of your language again. <laughs> Luminoth subject terminated 1.5 deca cycles ago. Damage from multiple weapon systems detected. Subject definitely went out fighting. Well, I'm glad you were able to record that very helpful message then. Uh, okay. So we're gonna go into a portal pretty soon. Recording to model. Paradise. Aether was a fertile, aged world with bountiful fields and oceans. The native creatures were gentle compared to the worlds we had encountered. We settled in a mountain region at first in cliffside dwellings. In time, we established settlements in the green forest of Torvus, Torvus, and the fertile plains of Agon. A great temple was built between our three domains, a place of peace and a monument to our accomplishments. It was a time of harmony for our people. Well, that sounds delightful. That sounds delightful. Oh boy. This is an access point for the local energy system. The energy transfer module has been designed to interface with it. Once it has, all of the energy within the module will be channeled into the local system. Cool. Welp. I guess we have to find that, that portal then. Wherever it may be. Um... <laughs> I guess... Maybe. Well, now that I have bombs. Oh man, who knows? Who even knows where I can be? I guess we're just gonna go back, backtrack, and see what we can blow up first. Actually, oh, hey, that room. That's. Oh yeah, that's the portal room. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, that's where we need to go then. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm gonna end it off here, guys. Uh, next time, we'll head back to that portal room and use our, our bombs 
to activate a portal to the world of death and gear stealing monsters. So that should probably go well, I think. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs>